Yo guys, what is going on? It's Jasper here today. I'm coming at you with another tutorial. Yo guys, before we get into this tutorial, I just want to say a massive thank you to my boy Reality. He's the one who did my intro that you've seen at the start of this video. So I just want to say a massive thank you to him. I'll leave his channel in the description below so you can go check him out, add him up on Skype and buy an intro yourself. He's super friendly, super approachable, such a nice guy. So yeah, thanks again Reality Bro. Let's get right back to the tutorial. This one's going to be how to stop Photoshop CC crashing when you're applying the effect in Magic Bullet looks. So before we get into it, I want to clear a few things up. I only have the installation for 64-bit, so 32-bit systems, it won't work for you guys. I'm sorry about that. So now I've got that out of the way. I also want to clear up that this is the old version of Magic Bullet looks. It has... It has the exact same as what the current version has on, but more. I know it sounds weird, but it has extra features on and it is the older version. It has lens distortion on and a few other stuff. And I just want to show you also that I don't have Magic Bullet looks installed in Photoshop CC already. So you know I can't be blagging you on. So let's get right into it guys. In the description you'll be presented with a link that looks like this. So you want to copy and paste that, like I said. It's going to be a full download and installation, so I'm going to sh go through it with you and do everything so you can see just how to do it perfectly. So let's just download this. And while this downloads, I'm going to, I'll tell you now that you need to completely uninstall Magic Bullet Looks from CC. So while that's downloading, I'll show you how to do it. You want to go to your control panel, and then you want to go to programs and features. And once you're there, if you hit M on your keyboard a few times or a couple, whatever, depending on what software you've got on, you'll get Magic Bullet Looks and just double click that to uninstall it. But I'm not going to double click it because that's Magic Bullet Looks for CS6. I've already uninstalled mine, but it will be here. You might not have CS6, but I do. But just to double check anyway, if you have uninstalled it, you want to go to your C drive and then Program Files, Adobe. And there are Adobe Photoshop CC 64 bit. And you want to go to your plugins folder. And then if you do have Magic Bullet Looks for Photoshop CC, it will be here. So like a Magic Bullet Looks folder. And then another file. So you just want to delete them too. It's only two other files. You don't want to delete your panels. That's got nothing to do with Magic Bullet Looks. So once you've deleted them, Magic Bullet Looks will be fully uninstalled off CC. So make sure you've done that before you download this file. But anyway, but it's downloaded, just finished. Perfect timing. So showing folder. I don't even know where it is. Where is it? Let's do that again. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to drag that to my desktop. See, I already have the file there, but I'm just going to replace it just to just for your the video benefit that you know it's the exact same one to so replace the file and the destination so inside this folder is just them two folders there so if I double click it you can see the folders there I'll close this off so uh, I'll just extract this onto my desktop it'll ask me to uh, replace the folders again I'm guessing uh, yes to all yes to all so it replaces the folders so you know it's the exact same ones so the first thing you want to install is your magic bullet looks You've probably done this before, you will have done this before if you're looking at this tutorial. So you want to hit yes. Let's get the serial code open while we're at it. Although I think mine will already be in because it's the same serial code as what was on my last Magic Bullet Looks tutorial. So you want to hit next, next, next. And again, then you want to hit yes. And then the code will not be in for you, but it's already in for me because I've already installed it. It might be in for you if you installed my last tutorial. So you want to hit done. You want to make sure you save it in your Adobe Photoshop CC 64-bit plugins. So you want to hit next, so that'll install. And you want to close that off. If I close the serial code down, close the advertisement off, and close that file, then you want to get the color suite. But like I said, guys, it is the old version, and the old version, it weren't just magic bullet looks you needed red giant color suite so if we get the serial for that copy that so while this is loading let's try to get these out of the way take them up there 
So when this comes up guys you want to hit next and then this is where you put the serial so I've already copied mine you just want to paste it in there and then you want to click submit and then it'll say thanks for purchasing magic bullet looks all trial limitations for magic bullet looks have been removed so you want to hit ok you want to make sure your magic bullet looks is ticked there it might not be ticked for you oh guys I've just realized the biggie thing you want to make sure you close your Adobe Photoshop CC before you do it like I just haven't so that wasn't very good but we'll see if it, it works it should do because I've closed it before I've installed this so we'll just but I did install magic bullet looks oh, we'll just see what happens guys see so when I hit next when I, ex I agree I accept next again and you want to go down and you want to tick Adobe Photoshop CC because all of these programs are here is just what you can get magic bullet looks on but we only want it for CC so you just want to click that and you want to click next you want to install and while this installs guys oof guys I made a big mess up there not closing Photoshop CC mm, this will be a really big fail if it hasn't if it hasn't what you call it It'll save your folder there you don't want to delete that you can move it though like as what I'm going to do now finishing installation it's just as you plugins in it this is just the looks builder this is just the color suite where you can move that anywhere you want just don't move it to your system files just hide it somewhere in your documents if you don't want it showing so we don't want to open a post installation web page. You want to hit finish and you want to open up your CC. Mm -mm. So we'll see what see what it's saying guys. No, you don't want to update it as well. I don't know if you can update it, but just click not now. It's uh, no, of course. If you update it, you'll get the newer version and you're most likely gonna crash again. Oops, sorry about that out on my tablet. So you wanna hit not now and then you wanna close that off and now you want to go to filter and it is there guys we'll just see if it if it works wait for this to load that was pretty lucky actually if this works because i never closed cc down but uh oh, got nothing here now no i'm just going to my documents and get something graphics photoshop i'll just i'll just open up my my um, signature just just anything really just as long as I can show you that it works so I got my signature open right, filter magic bullet looks photo looks like I showed you guys I first showed you that I didn't have it installed and now you can see it there so yeah now I'm not blagging your head I never showed it on my last uh, tutorial that I never had it installed and this is it guys this is the um this is the older version, it's a different UI, a different user interface, but you do have on this one, if you go into your lenses and go to the right, to the side to get all these to pop up, you will see you have lens distortion, a lot of people do still use this one, because people do find it better, because it has more stuff on it and it's funny because it's the older version, so I know this will look weird but if we just click finished, and there you have it guys, it's added a strange <laughs> a strange effect to it because it, it obviously it wasn't really a suitable image for it but guys it's right there I showed you it works no CC crashing that will definitely fix it hundred percent so I hope I helped you out a lot guys please leave a like if I did like I said in my other one if you have any problems whatsoever please comment below I'll give you my Skype it will be in the description add me on Skype and I'll help you with any problems you have at all so uh, once again guys, thanks, please like if I helped you, it's Jasper and I'm out, peace.